One of the things I didn't mention earlier that I like to do is to work a little bit with rotating on the axle before it gets started. Rotate on there and kind of watch and see kind of how it's running and minimize the amount that I'm going to have to ch have to. Sometimes shim. just reversing the wheel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I'll tell you what, these washers, the the machined washers, really gave me a lot better results than I got any time with the with the pressed metal ones. And I was. They make them in a lot of different inside hole diameters, um, but they're about three and a half inch diameter on the outside. Um, but they, they work really, really nicely. Um, but I, I get, I mean, it really doesn't matter about the quality of the grinder, the expense of the grinder. I find these same problems in all different grinders um, and different sizes and everything. Then let's say that I've become satisfied with this and I've gotten a good line maybe three quarters of the way around. And um, I just leave that disc on there or sometimes I can just pull it off, it doesn't matter. Um, put your guard back in place. Then finally what we need to do is then correct the eccentricities of the circumference of the wheel. Because there's, the wheels are still, after all those things that I've done to try to make them concentric as possible, the outside of that wheel still can have a little bit of uh, eccentricity in it. So years ago I came out with this um, particular dresser system and what this dresser does a little bit differently than most of them on the market is that it has an edge guide on it. So it's got a diamond point out here that's a half carat diamond that's adjustable and then it's got an edge guide that rides against the edge of your tool rest. And that edge guide is adjustable for different widths of tool rests. Uh, one thing you gotta realize if you're gonna use something like this is that it's gonna create a surface here that's parallel to the edge here. So um, if this is out of whack, you know, not, not perpendicular to the sides of the wheel, you're gonna get a bit of an angle to the front. So pay a little attention when you're mounting your your um, uh, tool rest to make sure they're they're pretty perpendicular to this. Mm -hmm.